Just come to the fourth move, no, fourth move, third move of the um, Hypno Yoga Pilates Qigong sequence. So again, this one's called Painting the Rainbow or Dancing the Rainbow. Um, many similar names. They're all sort of similar in these Qigong forms or roundabouts. <clears throat> again, we're gonna start now with the breathing. Again, within the traditional form, this heart, this helps the heart, lungs, pericardium, and the triple heaters, which is like an immune system. Uh, they're all, that's the meridian of the immune system, sort of in a rough, sort of um, undetailed way. That's, that's what it is. Um, no need to know that. We're just gonna basically link the motion to breath. And with the yogic breath and the Pilates breath, we're gonna start now. So you're just gonna zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. Take your navel towards your spine right now. And as you're breathing naturally, you'll find that breath going low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, and that's gonna help us use our pelvic floor and our corset muscle in the most efficient way, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping us breathe low and deep into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So as you do that now, you can stay with that or you can just get the two middle fingers touching underneath the breastbone, the sternum, Okay, the xiphoid process, the end of the sternum there, and you'll feel the fingers doing this. I'm overemphasizing that. Again, I'm just gonna show you there, the middle fingers slightly part, and then coming back to touch each other. As you breathe in now, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, you'll feel that breath coming in low and deep, 3D style, even organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep, into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Lovely, 3D breath. Just breathing in organ deep right now. Cell deep, even bone marrow deep. Now again, we're just gonna close the mouth and breathe in and out through the nose. Okay, so that's gonna go into the yogic breath from the Pilates breath. Similar to Ashtanga, but again, there's a few different differences there, but I'm going too much detail with that. You're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals. Unlike the Pilates breath, you exhale through purse slips in that. You're not gonna do that now. You're gonna breathe in and out through the nose because it's a smaller filter through the nose. Okay, you better feel that now as you breathe in and out through the nose and zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. That's gonna help you breathe low and deep into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs. And as you are breathing out through the nose, that's gonna be a smaller filter through the nose. That helps us lengthen the breath even longer, especially that lovely elongated out breath. Okay, that will naturally wanna fall longer than the in breath. The filter in breath in and out through the nose, there's a smaller filter for the nose that helps us lengthen the breath, especially the out breath. That would actually want to fall longer than the in breath. So just allow that to happen right now as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. Just carry on the breathing in and out through the nose and allow that out breath to fall longer than the in breath. The in breath is conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, that just encourages sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, all on that lovely elongated out breath. Lovely. Now again, if you want to take the yogic breath on a little bit further, optional this, slightly more advanced, the victorious breath, the ujjayi breath. So from here, grip the esophagus, you're gonna breathe in and exhale. That's Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Silky, whistling, raspy, Ujjayi breath. So as you breathe in through the nose, you grip that esophagus. <clears throat> and exhale. That give the mind something to focus on and Ujjayi breath helps us 
fan the fire to burn all the toxins of the body. It's yogic breath there. Okay, like seashore breath. And give that mind something to focus on. And help us lengthen the breath even longer than we already are. Okay, if that's too much, you can't get that grip in esophagus, don't worry about it. Just stick to the breathing out from the nose. That's still the yogic breath there. Otherwise, that's sort of like Darth Vader breath. Exhaling, letting go. And you'll find that out breath just want to fall longer than the in breath. Okay, as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. Lateral thoracic breathing happening. Breathing it out through the nose. And just allowing that ujjayi breath to do its work. Lovely. So we're going to calibrate that and synchronize that to the motion. Integrate that with the motion. Okay, so again, we're going to go for painting a rainbow or dancing with a rainbow, whatever you like to call it. A um, little bit of stretching going on, partially emptying and filling the legs. I'm going to go back to demonstrate that. Um, I'm going to come back here. So from here, this is the motion. We're just going to simply exhale and we're going to partially empty your foot, sort of like a cat stance there. Okay, then we're going to breathe in, come up and exhale to here. Now again, you'll get a little bit of stretch of this oblique muscle here, like a dragon's mouth here. We breathe in and we exhale. Partially empty the foot. Keep the tension out the shoulders because the hands are above the shoulders. So we want to allow these trap muscles, these upper traps to relax. Exhale, reach, feel the stretch here, okay? On these external obliques. Breathing through the nose and really empty and exhale as you pass your empty the foot. Really let that out breath go. So I'm gonna do it so you can hear it slightly. So it's a, Breathing coming up and exhale, partially empty. Obviously, we make this longer, this out breath. Feel that stretch. Terry's major muscle here stretching, even the triceps, length of the little finger to the hip. Exhale, breathing in and exhale long. That's going to really help you melt into them postures. Okay, a little bit easier, the out breath. Breathing in. Tension up shoulders, check here, exhale. Keep the back leg, the basin leg, slightly soft on the knees. Pass your empty the foot here, reach. Don't force anything. Work with the exhale, allow the shoulders to drop. Soft on this resting leg, exhale. You can either keep your shoulders stacked here or allow a little bit of a turn. I like a little bit more of a natural turn there as you exhale. And again, it's like so there. Um, again, that elongating that exhale really has its benefits in a sort of yogic way um, as the out breath is subconscious thought. So all things like sleep, digestion, rest and relaxation, all benefited by length of the out-breath. The parasympathetic nervous system is benefited by elongating the out-breath, but also it helps you really get into these postures easier. Helps relax the myotic reflex from the muscles, helps you relax and really creates that myotic reflex response there, relaxing just edging in with that out breath. Again, the out breaths are tall. It's the bridge between the mind and the body. It's our gauge to see how deeply relaxed we can get into these postures without even trying or trying not to try. Okay, that lovely elongated out breath. Okay, so really work with that and just check these shoulders in the center. Allow the shoulders to drop. So there's a trickle of water just running down the back and dispersing. Mount the shoulders over your hips, head over shoulders, and exhale. Again, reach from the tip of the little finger all the way down to the hip. That's the stretch happening. Gathering, zip up and hollow, 
and exhale, reach. Okay, so that was Painting the Rainbow. And again, got Separating the Clouds next, number four. And that was number three. Lovely, bang.